All right, so lesson 15, we are locating points on the coordinate plane. Um, so ordered pairs, um, this is, we've seen this before, this is what comes to our graphing. Coordinate plane is just a fancy word that we use. Um, we are looking at extending the axis beyond zero. We've been talking about integers, our positive and negative whole numbers. We're used to, well, let's see here, draw a number line to the right starting at zero. So what we're used to is we're used to seeing with our particular number line that we're dealing with, just kind of going straight out to the side. Um, and these are our positive numbers. So um, like it says, zero represents the point. So let's put our zero in there. And then we're used to like, oh, you know, a one, a two, a three, a four, and so on and so forth. Um, we're also used to our graphs going up as well, which again is a one, is a two, is a three, four, and so on. What we're starting to see now, whoops, um, what we're starting to see now is the fact that we can also extend our number lines. So if we are going to the left of the zero, we're going to have what type of numbers? That's right, your negative. So negative one, negative two, negative three. Again, it's just the number line. Um, the other thing we're used to going to be seeing is it'll extend down as well. And again, um, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so forth. So the main thing now is is instead of just hanging out in this one particular area up top here, we used to just hang out up here. Now we've actually got four different locations that we are hanging out in. Uh, let's look at the next page that we've got here, get some words and definitions. So um, all points on the coordinate plane, and that's what we call that, that whole graph there. Um, we call that entire portion the coordinate plane. Um, we want to know what is the origin and what are its coordinates. Well, the origin is the point where the, and again, vocabulary words from before, the x-axis and the y-axis intersect. So it's where they cross at. So it's that starting point. The coordinates of the origin are 0, 0. And again, if we go back to where we were at, um, the origin, right there, that particular point, because that's where the x-axis and the y-axis end up intersecting with each other. Um, so it uses the order pair 0, 0, because we don't move. If we stay at 0. To describe the points in the coordinate plane, we use, and we're going to end up using, um, we're going to hear that absolute value again, uh, because it's the distance, the distance from zero on a number line. Again, we just have two number lines. So order is important. Um, so on the coordinate plane, we use the form, we use the x-axis first and the y-axis. Again, from graphing we've seen before, the first coordinate represents the point location from zero on the x-axis, and the second coordinate represents the point location from zero on the y-axis. Um, so we're going to use our, our coordinate plane that's on the net coordinate plane that's on the next page. Um, what we're after is first thing is graph at least five points around the x-axis. So we're looking for patterns that are here. So we're going to go to our x-axis. Our x-axis goes from left to right. And I'm just going to have you put a few points down. Um, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go there. Um, let's go, ooh, let's go one, two, three. And let's go five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to put those three guys, and then we'll put two more over here. Um, so let's go out to one, two, three, four to the left. And then let's also end end up going out just one to the left. Again, I went to negative one, but we're talking about absolute value, the distance from zero. Notice I used the word left. We're given that direction of where it's located at. Um, so what they're after here is if we go back to our previous page, um, we are after what are the ordered pairs that we're just talking about. So. Um, if we graph all of them, well, for one of them, we had to go to the right five, but we didn't go up or down any. For another one, we had to go to the right three, but again, we didn't go up or down any. That's why it's a zero. We had to go to the right eight, but again, didn't go up or down any. And then we had to go to the left to negative four, but didn't have to go up or down any. And again, to the left to negative one, didn't have to go up or down any. So because we didn't go up or down, that's why we have zeros there. So what do they all have in common? Well, they all have the same y, and we say coordinates. 
all right? Um, we have our X coordinate and our Y coordinate. They all have the same Y coordinate. In this particular case, the same Y coordinate, it ends up being zero. So what must be true about any point that lies on the X axis? Well, the Y coordinate must be, what do you think there? Yes, it must be zero. The Y coordinate must be zero. And again, alphabetical order, the X and the Y, it's the second one there. Um, we can go through the same thing, all right? But we want to kind of look for patterns here. If we are on the other side, all right, and we mean by other side there, I mean the other axis, I should say, and we want five points that are on the Y axis, let's just try to visualize this here. Um, when you look for patterns, um, what do the coordinates of your points have in common? And again, if you think about a pattern we did up top there, if you simply look at your axis, you could say that, what do all the coordinates have in common? Well, the X coordinate is the same. And can you guess why that's the case? Or I guess I'm not saying it's a guess. Um, oops, that's not the one I was going for. I was thinking, um, did you, did you say that all the X coordinates are zero. Okay, and again, let's go to our particular graph. If you are on the y-axis, the first number always goes left to right. Anywhere you're on the y-axis, you don't go left to right. So that's why we have our zero that's there. Um, when we ask for an explanation that goes along with it, why? Well, there's the explanation. It's because we don't move left or right. I ran out of room there. Hopefully you were able to get that on the same particular page. Okay, so again, graphing, order pairs. We're just looking for some common themes here. Um, so there are true or false. The origin is the only point that is on the x-axis and the y-axis. Did you uh, Did you say? Nope. Well, if you said nope, then you're and you're wrong there. Yeah, it is. It is a true statement. That is the only point. That's the only point of intersection. So that's the only point that's both on the X and. And that's the key thing there is that word and. All right. So let's see what we've got here. We're going to do a little graphing that goes along with it. Locate and label each point. So locate. So we're going to use a point. Label. All right. So we're going to... Um, indicate which of the quadrants the point is on there. So... Um, we're going to change from our letters. We got D, we got A, we got B, we got C, we got D. Not really alphabetical order here. Let's let's change this D to, uh, let's go change this guy to an E. All right. So let's do some graphing that's here. Um, I'm trying to scroll down here for you. All right. So we're going to use that. Um, the first point that we've got is the ordered pair 7, 2. So because the first one is 7, we're going to go to the right 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 1, 2. There we go. And they called it D, so we'll put a letter D that's there. Um, the next point, well, go ahead and start graphing if you can. I'll just talk you through it, but go ahead and start graphing. The next point for point A is your pair 3, negative 4. Again, x-axis first. So we're going to go to write 3, 1, 2, 3. But then we're going to go down, 1, 2, 3, 4, down, negative 4. Again, absolute value that we have here. It is a distance. Um, B is your pair 1, negative 5. So we are going to go to the right 1, and we're going to go down to negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my point B. Uh, C, negative 3, so it means we have to go to the left to th negative 3. Um, but then we're going to go up 8. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Um, that's point C. And again, the last one that's there, the order pair negative 2, negative 1. That means you're going to go to the... Yes, left to negative 2, but then you're going to go down to negative 1. Again, we always go, the first thing that we do is we go left or right. The second thing we always do is then we go up or 
down. Now, what they're asking is for quadrants. So we have locations that are there, quadrants. This is considered our first quadrant. We go Roman numerals here on you. Um, it's just the kind of the way we describe it in math. Um, and then we go counterclockwise, which means this quadrant is quadrant two. This one down here is quadrant number three. And this is quadrant four, which means we use the I and then the V. Uh, the V means the five, but because the one comes before, it's subtraction. So that's why it's the four. Don't get too alarmed by it. Just, again, make sure quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and then quadrant number four. Let's see what they got left for us here. We want to go back up, actually, and fill in the quadrants. So uh, the order pair seven, two, you had to go to the right seven and then up two. You were in quadrant number one. Um, the order pair three, negative four, you went to the right, and then you went down. So you are in quadrant four. Um, point B was in the same location, um, so it too is in quadrant four. Uh, for point C, you had to go to the left to three, and then you went up eight. So you should find yourself in quadrant, yes, quadrant number two. Then the last one there, go ahead and fill it in there. The order pair negative two, negative one. You should have ended up saying... Yes, quadrant three, because you went to the left and then you went down. That takes you in quadrant three. Yay, quadrants. It's just a description. It's just kind of an idea of where we're in that there. So uh, the last part here is we want to write the coordinate of one other point that's in the four quadrants. Um, the main thing we want out of here is is fill in some points there. Okay. Um, and we'll check that in. But what I want to see here is the similarities that you see. Um, what we should see is for quadrant one, um, you go to the right, so those are positive numbers. You go up, so those are positive numbers. In quadrant two, you go to the left, so those are negative numbers. And then you go up, so those are positive numbers. In quadrant three, you go to the left, so those are negatives. And then you go down, so they are negatives. And then quadrant four, you go to the right, so they are positives. But then you go down, because they are negatives. So check your numbers against what you have written at the top there, and they should end up matching up. Give me something down there in the summary. Um, give me something that came out of it there, and um, we'll talk more tomorrow.